Here's more wrestling news for February 5th, 2023. And we're starting off with Ring of Honor, who will be taping new content later this month, according to Fightful Select. It's reported that these tapings will begin during the last weekends of February in Orlando, and we'll have to see how these tapings work out. Vince McMahon is an interesting person to say the least, and doesn't exactly have the best track record when it comes to minority groups. It was McMahon who infamously used the N-word on WWE TV, but McMahon is much more aware when it comes to little people. That's according to Dylan Hornswoggle Postal, who, while speaking to Chris Van Vliet, recalled McMahon admonishing Kevin Dunn when the latter used a slur. He explained, Kevin Dunn on a headset. I was underneath the ring, and I could always hear the conversations between everyone. Everyone. The producers in the back, Kevin Dunn in the truck, Vince in the back. Whenever he had to, like, say a specific direction, I was, like, on this headset. I loved it. I was like, oh, I get to hear a lot of things. So Kevin Dunn's like, Vince, we gotta figure out how to get the midget back to the back. God damn it, Kevin, we don't use that word. He's a little person. Oh, sorry, Vince, sorry. It's, it was like an apology after apology after apology. And they apologized to me, too. It's like, I don't care. Postal may not have cared about the term, but it is deeply offensive to countless little people across the world, and it's surprising that McMahon was so aware of the correct terms and admonished Dunn. One of the biggest problems AEW faced for most of last year was backstage altercations. After CM Punk and the Elite's locker room brawl post the all-out pay-per-view broke the internet, more stories about the backstage morale in the promotion began to surface. Several wrestlers had issues with their colleagues. Eddie Kingston and Sammy Guevara got into a physical altercation that resulted in both wrestlers being suspended. Andrade El Idolo also got into a scuffle with Guevara late last year. According to a recent report from Fightful Select, both Ricky Starks and Swerve Strickland got into a scuffle after an unplanned spot that took place during their tag team match at AEW's Double or Nothing pay-per-view. It was reported that the spot was a result of a miscommunication late in the match. During their match, Strickland attacked Starks during a pinfall attempt on Jungle Boy that did not sit well with the Absolute One. The two got into a scuffle backstage, but things got calmed down before things got physical. However, Starks and Swerve have settled their differences and are fine to this day. Fightful reports that, We're told that the two spoke about the scuffle while on the Jericho cruise and settled their differences. What do you think of these frequent backstage altercations in AEW? Now, Logan Paul returned to WWE as a surprise entrant in last weekend's Royal Rumble event, clashing with Seth Rollins during the match and eventually eliminating him from the bout, fueling speculation that a program between the two is now planned for April's showcase. Rollins has now taken to social media and vented about Paul during an Instagram Live video where he told the 27-year-old influencer he doesn't like him and accused him of just wanting the spotlight rather than wanting to be a wrestler. Rollins said, I don't know about Logan Paul. Um, all I know is I don't really like Logan Paul. Um, God. Um, yeah, look, I'm just saying, a lot, a lot of us don't really like Logan Paul. We just, we don't. I, I don't like Logan Paul. I don't really need him in my locker room, in my space. Um, you know, great, great. Guy's uh, ultra talented as far as athletic ability is concerned, you know. Um, snuck up on me uh, at the Rumble, dumped me, fine, whatever. You know, I took my eyes off the ball, that one's on me, but don't go bragging about it like you did something, uh, you know, otherworldly. I mean, it's probably the coolest thing Logan's ever gonna do in his life is throw me out of the, the Rumble, but um, I, I just advise him to stay in his lane, I guess is what I would say, because, you know, he's that freak, no doubt about it, but at the end of the day, he's just, he's not a wrestler, you know? He's just, he doesn't want to be a wrestler. He just wants to be famous. He doesn't care about the industry. He doesn't, he, he's not a wrestler. And so I think best for him to just stay in his lane, whatever his lane is. I don't know. Like buying counterfeit Pokemon cards. If that's your lane, stay in that lane. Uh, it'll knock you out. And you don't have your brother for backup because he's about to get cooked by this dude coming up in a couple weeks or whatever and he's not going to be around so um at some point we're gonna have to come face to face and i just really don't think he wants to i, I don't think he wants none as they say i guess um so that's all i'm going to say about lp as they call him don't love him come in do your thing 
do your little thing and get your little oh very good Logan Paul very good your little your little claps and all that oh Logan Paul you know have everybody hold your hand great but like don't be bragging about throwing me out of the rumble it's just it's kind of a call me a clown look at this guy right so that's all I'll just I'll get all that out out of the way and then we'll move on um, so yeah I went a little crazy there apologies what do you think about Rollins comments do you think Logan Paul is taking somebody else's rightful spot? Sound off in the comments below. In late 2021, Devin Nicholson, aka Hannibal, was involved in a horrific incident at a wrestling show, attacking a referee and leaving him a bloody mess with the use of an iron spike. The video of the attack went viral on social media, with countless people saying it went too far, and that includes The Miz. When TMZ caught up with the A-lister at the airport, Miz said he was shocked by the footage and agreed with many that Hannibal needed to be banned from pro wrestling. In response, Hannibal criticized Miz's skills, saying that the WWE superstar doesn't have any amateur wrestling skills, while Hannibal is a multiple-time state champion and Olympic trials silver medalist. We're not quite sure what amateur wrestling skills were needed to drive a spike into a referee's scalp. And while Miz may not have the skills Hannibal is touting, things have turned out well for the two-time WWE champion who lives in a huge mansion with his loving family. WWE NXT champion Braun Breaker took on Grayson Waller at NXT Vengeance Day 2023 last night. The finish of the match came when Breaker hit a hellacious spear on Waller to take the win and to retain his title. For some reason, an irate Grayson Waller interrupted Shawn Michaels during the WWE NXT Vengeance Day media call, and before things got out of hand, A-Train interfered and took him off the scene. Hey, Shawn. You hey, we're going to talk. Do hey, go to wrestling. I don't care less. Hey, we're going to talk about it? Yes. Oh, here we go. Here we got all these... All these simps, huh? This Sean Ross simp. No, no, no. We need to talk now. You can talk to these guys later. Huh? Why? Why? Let me let me ask you a question. Yeah? Why well, am I not the guy? Yeah? I'm gonna put hearts on my gear. Like the rest of these fans, you got all these fans, a bunch of fans in the locker room. Yeah? No, talk to me now. Talk to me now. We want you want me to take a photo? I can do your pose. You can pretend to be Diesel. You want me to be a fan of you? Is that how I get to be your guy? I gotta be a fan? Oh, okay, A train. Okay, A train. Yes, coach. No, no, no. Well, uh, happy I get a, another follow up, but uh, maybe some some color on what exactly happened there. So there was uh, so we, there was a uh, an incident coming back from Gorilla uh, before. So uh, Grayson is Grayson is a bit perturbed uh, with me. And uh, so it's been it's been it's been fe it's been festering down here for a bit, um, and uh, you know, I absolutely love him. And uh, it's one of those things where it, it's I'll <laughs> I'll say this, and, and again I, I always I always uh, I worry about saying this kind of stuff because everybody takes it too far. But I always feel like uh, like it's like when I made the joke you know the time about my hair. It's the good Lord punishing me. It's like I always feel like this. These are the things where the good Lord. This is me dealing with the kid like the guy I was when I was younger. Um, and so uh, he's he's just upset with me about uh, some things going on here, which we'll um, obviously <laughs> talk over later. So I apologize for that. Thank you. He's like I, I appreciate him, though. He's like the same all the time. He's not that much different uh, on television than he is in real life. I'll give him that. <laughs> 